Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this big rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that this uh, A, C is its diagonal. And moreover, this line segment C, F is 32 units, whereas uh, this line segment uh, E, A is uh, 6 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can see that this uh, big uh, rectangle a b c d has been divided into four rectangles this is the green one this is uh, blue one this is yellow one and this is uh, purple one and since we are dealing with this uh, challenging kind of problem so therefore we are going to be very creative and think outside the box and now we can see that this uh, side length of this uh, green rectangle is uh, 32 units so therefore this uh, side length is going to be 32 units since this side length is 32 units as well Likewise, let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle. The side length, uh, this one is uh, 6 uh, units. So this side length is going to be 6 units. So therefore, this uh, side length is going to be 6 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, purple rectangle. Now let's recall the rectangle area formula. Area equals to length times width. In our case, uh, the length for this purple rectangle is 32 and the width is 6. So therefore, the purple rectangle area is going to be simply 32 times 6. That is going to become 192 square units. So therefore, this uh, purple rectangle area turns out to be 192 square units. And now let me go over a basic uh, review. Let's focus on this uh, rectangle as you can see over here. And this is its main diagonal. And let's suppose the rectangle area is uh, 2a. Then this diagonal is going to divide this rectangle area into two equal parts. This side is going to be area A and this is going to be area A as well. So that the total area is going to be A plus A is going to be 2A. Now let's focus on this uh, green rectangle and this is our diagonal. So therefore this diagonal is going to divide this green rectangle into two equal areas. Let me call this area x then this area is going to be x as well now let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle and we can see that this is uh, the diagonal over here as well so therefore this diagonal is going to divide the area of this uh, yellow rectangle into two equal parts as well let me call this area y then this area is going to be y as well let me call the area of this uh, blue rectangle as an uppercase A. Now let's focus on this big rectangle A, B, C, D and we can see that A, C is its uh, diagonal. Therefore, this diagonal A, C is going to divide the area of this uh, big uh, rectangle A, B, C, D into two equal parts. And the first part is going to be this uh, whole uh, combined area that is how much a plus x plus y let me go ahead and write down a plus x plus y and the other part is this combined area below this diagonal that is going to be x plus y plus 192 let me go ahead and write down x plus y plus 192 and now we know that this uh, area the combined area must be equal to this uh, combined area so let me go ahead and equate them i'm going to write down a plus x plus y equal to x plus y plus 100 
and 92 this is our this area on the left hand side and this is our area on the right hand side now let's go ahead and subtract x and y from both sides this is gone this is gone this is gone and this is gone as well so therefore our area a turns out to be 192 square units we know that a is the area of this uh, blue rectangle so therefore the area of this uh, blue rectangle is going to be 192 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle turns out to be 192 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye